GarageBand makes it easy for anyone to be an audio mixing engineer. Using GarageBand's track mixer, you can balance the volume of each track, pan instruments left or right, and even do a perfect fade out at the end of your song. The track mixer can be displayed or hidden by clicking the triangle at the top of the track headers. The pan dial is used to position a track's sound in the stereo field. Click and hold the pan dial center and drag up or down to see the position move left or right. Lead vocals, bass, and drums are typically panned to the center, while supportive instruments such as keyboards and rhythm guitar are mixed to the sides. While playing the song, move some of the pan dials. Listen to the effect this has on the mix. You can change the volume of each track by dragging the volume slider to the left or to the right. While the song is playing, track level meters will show you the actual output volume of your instruments. A common way to end a song is to have the volume of all the instruments fade out. To fade out your song, simply choose Track, Fade Out. The master track will appear and display a line called an automation curve. This controls the master volume of your song. Just before the end of your song, you'll see the line curve downward, indicating when the fade out will start and end. You can customize your mix fade by moving the control points in the automation curve. Play the song just before the fade out to hear how it sounds. Now you can use GarageBand to mix your song to perfection.